guys back on another video I know this this was right after the actual release of the other video but I've actually found a better solution um, it's called bluestacks pre-rooted what does that mean it means it's already pre it's already rooted for you it's like an installer of the bluestacks so basically you run the installer it's trusted because it's from it's from a trusted group that I've known for that is known to the bluestacks universe and um, it's a mod. It's obviously it's a modified installer, but running off of the install shield. But what it is is that it allows you to have BlueStacks fully unlocked with all of its features. Not only that, it comes with. Um, not only that, it's it's just already ready for you to to use. It's already rooted for you. It's already trusted. I've already verified. I've already done the security scan on it. Um, see, like if I scan with Bitdefender, But um, as you can see, there's absolutely no infection within the file at all. I use Bit I use Bitdefender mainly because of the fact that it's one of my trusted trusted um the list of my trusted different antiviruses along with the vast. I really have a very small list because mainly that um most of the antiviruses that are out there really suck. I mean that in the literal sense, like they literally suck. I don't there's a lot of them that I decide not to use because I just don't turn, I, I can't trust them they're not trustable to me so what I did is that I've been making videos on or I've been deciding to choose which ones personally on my personal preferences and which one is best for me um so obviously I have BlueStacks finished installing um, what we can do is that you can download BS easy and then what you can do is you can modify it modify some of the registry settings but that's all you can really modify if we go into the close agree yes as you can see like some of the apps are already installed like super user and root checker it's already installed so basically we can check and see if it's rooted obviously it's rooted since this message already popped up and as you can see it's successfully rooted um, every once in a while, I will release out a pre-rooted version. I don't really, hi I don't recommend you guys to be trusting anybody else's, mainly because of the fact that I have a hard time trusting other people because you can change the installer and change what apps get installed. You get a total of seven gigabytes um, on both on both partitions of the of your blue stacks. So I'm quite sure that's enough storage for you guys. Um, Obviously, it's already rooted. If you want to add more RAM into BlueStacks, you're gonna to have to use and download BS Easy and go to Registry Settings or RegEdit or something like that. Run of those tabs to be able to do it. That's literally all you have to really do. I think the Swift HD camera actually works on this. I'm not entirely sure. I guess I guess not. <laughs> I really thought it actually worked, but I guess on the Swift HD doesn't actually work. But um, for some reason, the cameras don't even work on BlueStacks, so that's why you just import, or you like import Windows files. You know, that's you just use that. But anyways, guys, hopefully this video was help was very helpful. Um, if you want to disable the physical disable the on-screen keyboard, you click on Enable Physical Keyboard, and then you just that's basically all you have to do. Um, to set it up, um, the best way to set this up is if you go to like to set up the actual thing, go to setup wizard, and then you click on next, and then or I wouldn't follow that. Never mind. Never mind. Um, the best way to do it to set it up is probably um, I don't like using the setup wizard really. I like to use the um, I like to use um where is it um go to play store and then sign in because the setup wizard is just horrible 
But anyways, guys, this is the best. This is how you get it pre-rooted. This is a pre-rooted version. You can download in the description bar. It's an offline installer, so it's pretty big. It's about 200 megabytes, 250 megabytes to be exact. Um, and you can download it in Mirror Creator or Mega.co.nz. And every once in a while, I will release out another pre-rooted version. If you guys seem to not trust it, you can go ahead and try to try to do a virus scan on it on your own different softwares that you have. But um. I guarantee you this is, hasn't been the only thing that's been modified is adding soup super user root explorer and root checker and have it fully rooted and fully unlocked. I will see you guys later. Catch you guys.